everywhere. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, uh, enough. Make him stop, Jesus! Stop these cute innocent monkeys! Ha! <laughs> I think not. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Just please make him stop. That's the thing. They don't stop ever. Once you get them going, they keep on doing it until they drop dead. Come on, let's leave these creeps to rot. You know, you listen to me. I, I, I tell you what to do. Very good. No! Don't! Why did you do that? Have you no idea what you've done? You've torn the fabric of time and space itself! You've unleashed complete evil! I didn't know. Oh, that's right. You don't know, do you? Let's destroy, let's destroy them. Come on, we gotta go to the north! Do you know this person? No! But let's hope it's hospitable! We'll be doomed if we stay out here all night! Completely doomed! Alright.
two travelers, but we're in terrible trouble. Hmm. Trouble, you say? Uh, I want none of it myself. Be on your way! But, sir, I'm afraid they'll do terrible things to us. <sighs> terrible things. Couldn't you go find a tree trunk to hide in? No. Put a hole of some sort! But we haven't any time! And the danger is great! Uh, very well, come on! Thanks for letting me in. Well, I figured you'd be hungry, being a traveler and all. And far be it for me to turn away someone in need. I certainly appreciate all this. I think nothing of it. I do apologize for my reluctancy in letting you in earlier. You have no idea what kind of creeps are around these parts. Real lowlifes. And I nearly forgot about you. Here we are. To keep you fresh. Oh, thank you. So, explain the nature of your journey. Is it a visit? For treasure? Adventure? What? Uh, no. It's nothing like that. I'm searching for a friend, I guess. I have his head, actually. See? I see. Yes, you see, we were searching for him when my ridiculously misguided friend over here mistakenly flicked the siren switch. 
Oh my. That would explain quite a bit. We heard they are, they are screeching through the forest, my good man. As you can imagine, we're sure that the underlings are on our tail. And the Ivorites will undoubtedly be working their devilish magic on us when we sleep tonight. Oh, I don't know what to do. Underlings and Ivorites? Oh, I haven't explained, have I? You see, the underlings once imprisoned me here. They stuck me in here in paralyzing fear, fear for my life. They run rampant through these woods, ruling the land with the eye of the beast. They eat little children whole, burn down villages, everything. They even did unspeakable things, as we call them. Wicked acts so evil that mortal minds can't understand them. Deeds so unholy that even science cannot grasp their scope. They come up from under the leaves or up from the riverbanks to terrorize us. You see, their existence is fueled and perpetuated solely by the joy they take in the sorrow of others. And in the nights, a race of creatures patrolled our dream. The Ivorites, we call them. They would monopolize our dreams, invading every nocturnal thought, trying to drive us into insanity or such a docile state that they could easily prey upon us. Make no mistake, my friend. The dreams they rule over are no mere fantasies, but realities much worse than the ones we toy around with during the day. There was no real rest, no relaxation. What the underlings did to our days, the Ivorites did to our nights. Until one day, a great man invented the silent switch. When he flicked it, the underlings and Ivorites were vanquished and never seen again. Not until today, that is. Which was all it took? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, you say? No more ridiculous than meddling with switches that you do not understand and forces that you cannot control. No, sir. There are ridiculous things involved here, but the silent switch is not one of them. I can only hope that I do not dream tonight. Eventually, sleep fell upon them all, whether it was welcomed or not. They were left to fend for themselves in the world of dreams.
seen any, any person around here? Persons? No, I haven't seen any persons. Festive gathering. Is it someone's birthday? Today is somebody's birthday. Yes. Ah. I, I meant, is it one of your birthdays? That's personal information, and none of your beeswax. Shh. Stop it. That's no way to treat our guests. Don't mind him. He's old, and his mind is full of cobwebs. To answer your question, however, yes, this is a celebration. The kingdom is quite happy. We've been given a most joyous task. Yeah, the stranger has shown it. So, what kind of task is responsible for this debauchery? Oh, this and that. A king, a cat, a spider, a bat! <laughs> I don't want to clutter your mind with all the details. But I would like somebody to help us with this food. It's not gonna make itself go away. Oh, thanks, but I couldn't. I insist! Uh, no, really, I'm not hungry. Huh? Miserable, I'm ungrateful. Now eat! Thanks. See? We're hospitable people. This is a happy place to be if your mind's open to other possibilities.
is already gone, but the body is still salvageable. Could I perhaps offer you a stem? Beast. You should be thanking me, really. Thank you, man. Oh, please. You don't really think he was taking you around out of the kindness of his heart, do you? This is... <laughs> this was... A petal Germanesian flesh eater. A real killer. There's only a handful left in existence, you know. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite as delicious as an endangered species. <laughs> anyway, I had not saved you in a delusional slumber. He would have been finishing up your head right about now. You see, my friend, we're all flesh eaters in these parts. Whether it be pink, or green, or purple, whatever. Just thank your lucky stars that I prefer the taste of chlorophyll to that of your blood. No, I don't believe a word of this. Fine, then get out! You're ruining my appetite! Be gone! This isn't a refuge. I'll take my odds with whatever's out there. Yes, yes, like I said. Get out! You won't get away with this! Leave! You won't get away with this! <laughs> There's a bit of fruit, and down a long dark river it flows, chasing the birds, setting the sun, sleeping where the ivy grows, and the forest goes much deeper, deeper than the darkest sea, with panthers and vipers, floral and fauna, set out to hunt me. To someone I hardly know While logic crumbles All around me Falling like a driving snow With the parasites and liars Gathering around me In shadows or Out in the open How to take their share and leave 